this video is in no way, shape or form promoting mediocrity. I am all for excellence and I feel like if you can get those A's and A stars, definitely go for them. However, we live in a society where there's inequality and there are brilliant, there are gifted people who might have attended low performance schools, who might live in areas that have a low progression to um, higher education and I feel like those people should not be blocked from going to dental or medical school because of their background. They should not be um, stripped of um, the chance of being a doctor because of where they come from. And so that is the main reason why I curated this list of um, universities. So again, I'm not trying to say go play games, don't study, fail your exams and think you can get into medical or dental school. That is not the aim of this video. <laughs> schools the first one being Newcastle University so they have this scheme called the partner scheme and it's basically for um, people who are from a low socio-economic background they have this eligibility criteria and you have to go through to find out if you're eligible um, to go through the partners program so first of all you go on to go on to their, their website the Newcastle University um, School of Dentistry website select the partners option and then the first thing you have to do is put in your postcode. If your postcode is eligible to be part of the partner scheme, it will let you know underneath it that you're eligible. So if you're eligible for that, then you can go through the whole process and send in your application and all that. They allow you to apply to dentistry with BBB. So basically, if you pass through, if you go through the partner scheme, you pass say you do the summer school, all of that, and you end up getting BBB in your A-levels, you will be accepted um, into dentistry, okay? So that's the first one. Newcastle University, the partner scheme, you will get in with BBB for dentistry. The second one is the Peninsula Pathway um, program for um, secondary um, school students. So um, you have to start this process when you're in secondary school. So they allow you to come in and study dentistry with AAB. Um, the two A's have to be in biology and another science, and then the B can be in your last subject. The other one is um, Access to Leads. Um, so this one offers you the chance to study dentistry with ABB. There's actually a list of um, things you have to be eligible for. I think I'm just going to read it from my laptop now. So you have to be the first generation of your immediate family to go to university. You have to have attended a school achieving below the national average at GCSE. Your studies may have been disrupted by circumstances in your personal or social life, you live in an area with low progression to higher education, like I said earlier, um, or you live or grew up in public care. So like most of these things have criteria like that and some schools are, expect you to meet like one of them, others expect you to meet three of them, things like that. So like I said, go through each university I've given you, go through the eligibility criteria and see if you are eligible. Most times you will be. This one for Manchester is a pre-dental um, course. So you do six years and you'll still come out with a BDS degree like everybody else who does a five year course will. So this one is like a foundation course to dentistry the others are just normal five-year courses, they just let you come in with lower grades and you can get into this with AAB. So now we're going to talk about the ones um, which are available for medicine. Unlike the ones I gave for dentistry, all the medicine ones that I could find would be six-year courses. So they would you'd, you'd have to do a foundation year for all of them, but that's still great because you're doing medicine with low grades. You're going to be doing medicine with grades less than AAA, which I think is so beautiful. Like. I, I don't think you'll mind doing one more year if that means you'll become a doctor at the end of it rather than like missing out on medical school just because you got a B, you know. So the first one is Plymouth University, so Peninsula and Medical School. You can get in with three Bs, so BBB, um, it's, a, it's a six year course, like I said earlier. The second one is Bristol, so University of Bristol. They'll let you um, study medicine with BBC, and that's a gateway to medicine course. Again, it's a six year program, it's a foundation year, and you can come in with BBC to study medicine. But the third one is Leicester University, and you can you can get in with BBB, so three Bs. And again, it's a six year course, Leicester University, 
throw beads to study medicine. The fourth one is King's College London. I think it's called the Extended Medical Degree Programme. Again, it's a six year course. You can get in with ABB to study medicine. That's again, King's College London. The fifth one is Manchester University. They'll let you study medicine with AAB. Again, it's foundation years, a six year course, and you can get in with AAB. Next one is Nottingham University, and you can get in with BBC. Um, in your A levels to study and medicine. The final one is Southampton University. It allows you to come in with BBB in A levels. Again, it's a six year course. And don't feel shy or ashamed going through these um, pathways. The universities made these for you. They know that there's this issue of inequality in the society and so they lower these grades for you. So go for them, make use of them, take advantage of them. When you start practicing in hospital, nobody, nothing is going to distinguish someone who did a five year course from someone who did a six year course. Nobody will know that you did a six year course. Nobody will know that you came to dentistry or medicine through a foundation year. So definitely go for it. If, if you're worried about that extra year, if that's your only concern, and I think you should definitely go for it. Like if you ask me, should I go for a foundation year or miss the chance of being a doctor? I'll definitely tell you go for that foundation year. There were only four for the dental schools, which is quite unfortunate, which is understandable though, because there are only 16 dental schools in the UK. So if four of those are offering you um, lower entry requirements, I think that's that's still great. That's still something we can work with that. I did some research to ensure that it's accurate information that I'm giving you, but definitely go through them yourself to see if you're eligible for these contextual offers. I hope you are eligible and I hope you consider these. And again, nobody should be stopped from going to dental school or medical school because they come from a low performance school. I just think that's unfair. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.